Hatch Monkey Bars, what a great band and great song. We don't hear enough about this band. I don't know why. Just what a killer song. Um, so, this is a CBT guitar lesson for Steven. And the tuning in this is standard. Let's jump in. You said to simplify it if I could. So I did in a few parts. Um, especially the solo. The solo is one of the strangest solos I think I've ever heard. It's so bizarre. I did some of it. At the beginning like it and then I just gave you some more usable um, familiar riffs um, so it's 2a 4d 4g now you can go index third fourth you can bar with the third you could bar with the fourth whatever you feel there but strum those three make sure you can hear them okay so we have same three strings for all this bar the third fret a D G Next thing is an octave, so it's 4A, muted D, and 6G. You can use pinky there if you want. And then the last one is 5, so fret 5 on the A, open D, fret 5 on the G. Just that alone is bizarre. Now, if you want that simplified, you can just power chord it all and go... Section 1A, so that's zero seconds in. It's a three second little riff. Uh, section 1A, three seconds in, the main groove you heard me playing. Open E, kind of kill the note. And then 7A, 9D, that's our E power chord. Get those, quick rest. Fourth, fourth and sixth fret, and then fifth and seventh fret. So that first half is. And then you kind of start it over. Um, Except you're going to slide from 5A, 7D to 7, 9, A, D. That's the only difference between that. That's considered one time through. So that's going to go 12 times. The 12th time, no star. All the star is, is the slide that you did at the end. The... Don't do that. Just go on the 12th time. Wait, let's see. Yeah, you'll go. Boom. You're done with that section right there. Um, section 1B, 54 seconds in. 3E, muted A, which you're naturally going to mute it anyways, more than likely. Open, open on the D and G, and then third fret B. It's a G chord. 3 A D after that. So it's. And then you're going to go. Um, 3 A 5 D with index and pinky because you're going to go to 2 5 A D. And that third finger will make that really a big stretch. Open A, 3D, 5G, slide to 2, 4, and then open 2, D, and G. So it's... You're going to go four times of that from... Fourth time, no star. So the fourth time will be this. Then, just jump over to the 110 timestamp, open 2 DG twice to 3 E. And that's it. So it's... Uh, minute 11, you hit some repeats, section 1A, but it's 8 times instead of 12. Uh, eighth time, no star. Uh, then section 1B played the same way. Section 1C, 2 minutes, 2 seconds in, you're looking at this. This is simplified. I made it power chords instead of... They're doing like a... I made it open E, and then 3A, 5D. Same thing on the E and A. And then back to open E, and then 
open D to G, and just move it up a string to play open A in second fret D. So that's two times through. I'll go ahead and do that twice. Then the solo. I mean, that's it rhythmically. The solo, like I said, uh, the, the majority of it is uh, simplified. 8B pick, hammer onto the 9th fret pull off back to the 8th fret, so that finger can't be lifted up, just go, and then 10-8-G down up, 11-10-8-D, slide to 6, just really odd phrases, um, after that, go like this, 8-E, 6-8-A, down, up, down, 6D pick, hammer 9, pull 6. 8, 6, A, down, up. So it's. Alright, top of page 3. And I'm just going to kind of run through these riffs um, in little subgroup pieces for you. Because you really need to just kind of study the tabs. This is still some of the uh, stuff he was doing. 8E, hammer 11. So we have. Weird jazz stuff. Or fusion. 214 timestamp, we have this. Seventeen timestamp. Now I put stuff more in a familiar place for m the majority of uh, us guitar players' ear. Fifteen B. We're gonna bend vibrato. Then we have this. So here's that whole run. Next riff. Hammering to 15, 12, 15, 15 on the E, pull off the 12, and then 15, 12, B. We're going to do that same concept using 15 and 17 now, same strings and everything. So you have, and this all will fit, the rhythm behind the solo is the... that was the rhythm behind it okay the next one same idea again just different frettings and this is going to be uh 17 hammer 20 on the b and then 22e something i want to say about bends i don't know how much of uh soloing you've gotten into but I'm playing 22, that's, uh, you may have 24, you may have 21, or you may have 22 frets. But either way, it's up there, right? So you back it with a couple fingers. The reason I do that is to strengthen the bend that I'm doing. And it's a whole step, so it's, it's got to be two frets above. That's our target. Okay, so that's it for the solo. And then basically the rest, you're looking at repeats uh, from 228 on. It's back to section 1A eight times, section 1B eight times. Repeat the intro, which was the... That part. Oh, there is some new stuff. Top of page four. You're going to go 4, 6, A, D, 3, 5, 2, 4. And then 3, E. So it's... repeats at 346 and then I just added some um, just to give you a little extra in the solo department um, it's not in the song but it'll fit in where the guitar solo is being played and here's this slow down pull down up down up if you want to play it fast 
Okay, same concept um, here, starting on the B15, though. So you have... Then... Then... So you have... See, there's fun little riffs you can play in the key of E minor, which is where this song is. Uh, last little riff I put down is right here, 10E, hammer 12, 10, 12, slide 14 on the A, and then 12, 14, D, and G, slide 16, so it gives you... Fifteen, seventeen, B and E. Slide to nineteen, end on seventeen B vibrato. So So that's Anyways. So uh, anyways, killer song, like I said, I do believe this is the only, actually no, I do have a another uh, Coney Hatch uh, Devil's Deck, because I remember that was one of my favorite songs from then, but this one's just as good, so. Um, Alright Stephen, let me know if there's anything else you'd like, thanks for your patience on this, and uh, we'll talk soon, take care.